Coach, a uh, very back and forth game today. Uh, just what was your, your statement on the game? Uh, I'm just proud of our kids. You know, that game had a lot of adversity happening throughout. Uh, we kind of, you know, we got ourselves in some binds a couple times. Thought Flores did a great job in staying composed and letting her defense work behind her and getting us out of some innings. And then, you know, the first couple of innings, we were frustrated at the plate. And uh, that's, we finally started to make some adjustments. And, and once we got a couple of people on, some time we're hitting. So, uh, you know, there's a lot to learn from that game, but overall, when you take our team's mentality, uh, I'm proud of their effort. I'm proud of the way the energy level was and the way we competed from, uh, never really got out of it. A couple of times, felt like the energy could have been sucked out of us. But uh, our kids kept competing, and we started to extend some of the bats, and then we were able to extend a couple of innings and, and uh, some time in hitting. You know, J-Mac and Teddy come up with some big knocks today that kind of get things going for us. So, uh, proud of our team's effort. You mentioned kind of bouncing back from adversity. Like you said, early on in the game, team was struggling to hit. And then you have the 3-2 lead, and then the, the um, they steal the base. The ball goes all the way to the wall. They tie the game. You bounce back from that. Just kind of, I guess, can you take, talk a little more about being able to bounce back just when, like you said, adversity keeps hitting you? Yeah, yeah it's the next next pitch, and that's what we live for. And uh, that, that's what we talk about. It is so proud to see that our kids could – social maturity this early in the season not let them affect them and, and just bounce back and say hey, it's, it's over with and move on and, and that's what we got to do that you know hopefully that sets a tone for the rest of the year it shows that it, it's one pitch so what let's move on so uh like i said once again just proud of our team's effort for staying focused and locked in and competing to the end taylor uh you had a great game two for three some really big hits um i guess can you take me through your process at the plate when you know you kind of you might see some of your teammates struggling at the plate, but like what do you, what's going through your mind when you're you know kind of preparing to go to bat and you're at bat? Although my teammates are struggling, they never gave up that fight. So I knew my job was to get in that box and go one pitch at a time and just look for something that I could handle to get us moving. And then I knew they would come in behind me and finish the job. And when you play a team like the Lipscomb, um, you know they had a great. Uh, a few days here. Um, what do you like? What do you guys say to each other? Uh, I guess in the dugout, just when things kind of like the adversity hits you. Well, what do you guys say to each other? Uh, really, we're just trying to pick each other up, let each other know that that play is past, and now we got to look for what's coming next. I mean, this game is to fail, and so I think that when we continue to pick each other up, that adversity is going to be okay because we're going to keep going through it. Coach, um, the the play that Corey made right before uh, the error, I mean, I was, you know, it seemed like it's already kind of a play of the year. Uh, a candidate, I mean, she, you know, full extension, it probably saves at least a single. Um, you know, just can you tell me, like, what does that type of play do for the team? Uh, man, I mean, Corey plays so hard, and our team feeds off that kind of energy, and, and that's what's great. But Corey, you know, for you guys, it's it's, it's a great play. Let's not take it away from her. We just we see Corey do it every day in practice. You know, she plays hard. She practices that way. But I hope somebody gets that that, that out, man. That's a big time play. I, you don't see those too many in your lifetime. But uh, for her to lay out and, and make that play, that kind of energy, kind of just you can feel the energy come back. And I think anytime you're able to make some kind of ESPN play it, it, in a tight game, it, it kind of sw switches momentum a little bit. So uh, hats off to Corey for playing the game hard. And uh, finally, uh, you go three and three to start the season. I'm sure, you know, not what you wanted, but can you just give me your positives and negatives, the full assessment of the weekend? Yeah, the, the weekend was, like I said, it's some ups and downs. There's a lot to learn from it. You know, we're not going to put too much on the emphasis of the record at this point in the season. we got a long season ahead of us, and that's why we play a 56-game schedule. And, and this is all about us getting ready and still learning this team. I think a lot of people expect us to come out here and just perform at a level uh, like like it's postseason already. Uh, this team's gonna feel, I, I like our character. I tell you, that's the one thing I saw in the dugout is that our team had a lot of character. I saw them prepare, I saw a lot of a team that started to, to unite. And that's the beauty of a season is, is how that 56 game stretch, how you get better as a team and how you stay united in that locker room. So uh, we, I saw some really good care. I, I think we're an athletic team that moves around well. Uh, we got some new new faces and new positions, so they just need to get their reps and time. And and, uh, and at the plate, uh, just uh, this team's going to be able to hit down the stretch. Uh, I, I do believe that. We just got to go ahead and get our bats in, and uh, like I said, try to learn this lineup and kind of learn this team and let let it, our identity kind of take itself.